Johnny here for Johnny's Car Care and Reviews. I'm really enjoying this open roof experience that the Bronco offers. Now I'm not going to drive it anywhere because I didn't buy this vehicle. This isn't mine. Mine's not in yet. But the open air experience is just incredible. Now I have a Mustang GT and I was worried that the pillars right here would bother me. But you sit in front of them or beside them. You don't really notice them. You just really feel like complete open air experience. This is a lot better than a panoramic roof where the first section would open but then the back section would all be glass. This feels much more open air and I can tell you taking off the roof the first two sections can be done one person. They're really light. They're just two sections, four latches each real quick. You throw them in the bags, no big deal. Now the second section, it is light but it's awkward. It is a two-person job, uh, but the good news is it's light. It's a two-person job, but the real good news, I've been wondering for months, does it fit in the back? It absolutely does. It fits really nicely in there. Visually, I was certain it wasn't getting in there, but it got in real easy, but once again, two people. Now talking about taking things off, let's talk about those doors. Now unfortunately, this is going to continue to happen, and it already has happened dropping the doors. I'd almost argue that ideally you do this to people because when you go to put the door back on onto those hinges or latches, ideally line it up, get the latches or hinges all lined up and have a second person just drop a bolt or each bolt right in. Let me show that to you. So you might think I'm crazy calling this a two person job, but it's just about safety and not messing up your doors because you have this latch, you gotta line it up just right and you gotta put the bolt through. And you know, if you're also holding the door and trying to do this all at the same time, you definitely don't wanna just leave it hanging there. So have your second person who helped you at the top anyways to put that bolt through the latch. And then all you have to do is unplug this little electric plug which controls your power doors and power windows. So no big deal, easy peasy, play it safe. Now just to conclude all this roof talk, I can definitely mention that the back section, the last section, the section with the glass on, you really gotta be careful. That's definitely a two person job. That's somewhat heavy because of the glass. Not that bad, Two, you know, husband and wife or whoever, your partner, two people, you're gonna get it off. But when you do get the back last section off, section three that covers the cargo area, you really gotta be careful when you're putting that down. You don't want it slipping out of your hands, even at, you know, if it drops even three inches, uh, Jeep owners have experience with this. There's a chance that the shock and vibration and impact uh, could crack your glass. So you make your spot in your garage, get some padding, whether it's foam or ideally uh, in my solutions video, I talked about getting the lift for your garage. You can either, you know, just have the pulleys, attach it to that back section, uh, and then you just, you know, bolt it off with the toolkit that Ford offers you and just have it go right up to the roof or you can put it on like a little dolly and put it against the wall. Uh, my favorite is just the, the electric one where you just press the little electric button on the winch and it's just, just gonna pull your roof right off. So start looking at those options before your Bronco shows up because you're gonna wanna take the top off. This is really cool. Even without taking the back section off, I feel like I'm in a convertible. Uh, I'm ready to hit the road, but uh, definitely a nice little advantage to take off that last section if you're gonna be off-roading. So you don't have to worry so much about branches uh, and you know just everything that you have to worry about when you're about damage when you're really when it comes down to damage and cost you don't want your off-roading to cost you a fortune so you could go off-roading with your section in the back and enjoy some nice weather but ideally leave the third section at home just cover this real quick i was asked in the comments section if the dash is soft touch it's not soft touch it is a textured plastic so it looks like it's going to be soft touch it has a great look to it but it's not soft touch but something i do love and i don't really care i don't drive with my hands on the dash I'm not a not a full-time journalist and the buttons here though they do appear to be pretty much waterproof you can tell from the screen right here that you know with the lip going on right here you have a bit of water protection, so if ever I forget the roof, or you forget the roof on your Bronco, it's not gonna be disastrous. And even the buttons on the steering wheel are all made to be pretty much water, you could say water resistant. I wouldn't submerge it, but uh, it's definitely water resistant, so you can get a little bit of rain in here. 
it's an off-road vehicle and it's made for that. Now something I know you're going to love are all the Easter eggs like the coordinates to the ultimate off-road Bronco trail, uh, the Bronco imprinted dash, the Bronco horse on the shifter, plus the American flag. Hey, I'm not even American and I love that. I also love the fact that they actually put a steel plate to show that it was assembled at the Michigan assembly plant at MAP. So that's really cool. So there's all sorts of little Easter eggs all over your Bronco, inside and out. But today is all about the inside. And I gotta say, I love the inside. Now some journalists are gonna say the inside is far too plasticky. But I've gotta say, everywhere that you touch, like the knobs feel just right. Where you put your elbow, it's soft touch, it feels just right. Everything about this vehicle that you would naturally touch feels just right, but hey, there is plastic. And that's okay, cause this isn't a G-Wagon at three times the price, or it isn't a more expensive Land Rover at a quarter of the reliability. Now, I hope that last comment wasn't too salty because I didn't mean it to be, but just a heads up, like and subscribe because I'm gonna be doing a drive along in a 2021 Ford Escape hybrid. Why? Because it's gonna give us a great idea of what to expect from the Maverick. The platform is identical. The hybrid powertrain is almost identical. And I really am gonna take, I'm gonna take this Escape on a test drive to show you the quality or not of the drive, how how good is it at sound deadening? What kind of miles per gallon did I get? How did I find the acceleration? Well, I'll let you all know. You just gotta stay tuned. So I until next time, all more cars and more power. And of course, I do hope you do get to put the pedal to the metal. And hey, here's a new one. I hope you're luckier than I am. And well, you don't have to deal with some pretty annoying birds that kind of ruin your day, kind of ruin your car. Of course, you'll always want to ceramic coat your vehicle. Uh, ceramic detailer, detailers are great because you never know what mother nature or those freaking birds are gonna throw at you. So I wish you no birds in your neighborhood. And until next time, keep it coming in the comments section. And if you want more videos like these, just please like and subscribe because not only does it help feed a poodle remember your co-host winston if you've been following along with the channel but it also helps me along it helps create more material gives me access to more vehicles and of course i'm covering the vehicles that you know are the hottest vehicles the hottest topics and that right now happens to be ford and you know Sometimes I happen to cover out other models as well and having more subscribers helps me cover more models. So, you know, I'll keep you informed, in tune with all the news, everything that matters, mostly when it comes to Ford, but you know, I'll wander when we need to. So of course I'll do a video coming up on why I don't like CVT transmissions, who has CVT transmissions, but more importantly, before we get to that, we gotta try out that Escape because it's really gonna give us a good idea of how the Maverick's gonna be, that hybrid Maverick. And you gotta order up and reserve these pretty quickly if you wanna have any chance. Ford is already at 80,000 reservations, so we gotta jump on it, put that pedal to the metal and reserve them. But how can we do that when we don't know how this thing drives? So I'll be taking you on your next video I'll be taking you on a road test of hybrid escape because like I said, they're essentially identical and it'll really give you a good idea and hopefully help you either reserve or not reserve your Maverick, but help you make a decision with confidence. So until next time, try and enjoy the drive and have a great week.